it's Miss Elizabeth from the Tacoma Public Library, and I'm here to show you how to make your very own constellation scope. So constellation scopes will allow you to see what constellations would look like if you were looking through a telescope. So looking out at the night sky, we can see patterns of stars that we sometimes identify as constellations. And there are currently 88 modern constellations in the sky, and that was established by the International Astronomical Union. And numerous constellations, they represent Greek and Roman mythology. And some of these include Orion, Cassiopeia, and Ursa Minor. So I'm really excited to show you how to make your own constellation scope and talk to you about some of the constellations that we can see in our night sky. So we're gonna need some materials for this project. So we're going to need a paper tube. So this is just a regular uh, paper towel or a toilet paper tube. You're also gonna need the constellation printout, uh, which is, you can also print out these materials and directions. So you're gonna need this sheet. You're also gonna need some aluminum foil or some black paper. Um, you can, you're going to need some glue, some tape, uh, a push pin or a toothpick, or even a skewer. So if you're barbecuing this summer, I'm just going to make a recommendation. Parents, if you're helping, please make sure you help with this because these are pointy. So we want to make sure no one gets hurt. You'll need some scissors and optional, if you would like, is a flashlight. All right, so you can go ahead and you can decorate your paper tube however you want. I'm just gonna leave mine blank. Um, and you're also gonna need this uh, sheet. So you can go ahead and pick out whichever um, constellation you want to do, and you can just cut it out. So you can cut it out like this, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut out around the dotted line. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, just make sure you're cutting around the dotted line. Perfect. So once we have our constellation, you can go ahead and you can glue it onto your piece of black paper. So I've already cut this one out, this one and glued it on. This one here is Ursa Major, and it's also called the Great Bear. Uh, we also call it the Big Dipper. So Ursa Major is uh, not really a constellation. It's called actually an asterism, which is a distinctive group of stars, which makes up a greater constellation. And the greater constellation is the Great Bear. So uh, there's also the Little Dipper, which is Ursa Minor, and that makes up the Little Bear. Uh, the Ursa Minor is kind of cool because Ursa Minor holds one of the most distinct stars in the sky, and that's Polaris, or the North Star. And the North Star is really, really famous because it's the brightest star that we can see in the night sky. And it's really important because sailors would use it when they were navigating at sea. Um, so if you look up in the sky and you see the North Star or Polaris and you follow it along, you can see Ursa Minor. And if you follow it about five stars over, that's where you can see Ursa Minor. So once you have it glued onto your piece of paper, this is where I'm gonna say, parents, if you can help, that would be great. You're gonna take your, um, toothpick or push pin, um, and you're gonna actually um, punch out all these little black uh, spots on here, these little black dots. If you have a piece of like foam core or something uh, behind, it makes it easier for you to poke through the paper um, and onto another surface. So I'm gonna show you, we're just gonna poke through some holes and I just kind of hold the paper to its side to poke through. I'm gonna move my scissors. All right. So we've got all of our, you can see they're all poked through. You can kind of, you can see my hand behind it. And if you wanna make them a little bigger, go ahead and just kinda 
go like that. All right, so now we have our constellation glued. We have it on our black paper. We have, or our aluminum foil. You can also do it on aluminum foil and our holes uh, punched out. What I suggest to make it a little easier if you are using paper is to kind of cut um, slits around the paper. So it makes it easier for you to tape it or glue it or use a rubber band to attach it to your tube. And you don't, it doesn't matter how many you make, uh, just a few slots, a few slits around. And then this way you can fold it around and you can see it would, it's already going to be easier because it's making kind of that circle, right? Perfect. And so then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to tape it. I've already taped this one around, but you can see the slits. You just push it down all around. I'm going to tape, grab another piece of tape that one's kind of hanging out there. And this way all around you have it taped. And so if you can see, I'm going to just slide this one. It makes it a lot easier and just go one tab at a time, taping them all down. And then you have your constellation tube. So this one here is Cassiopeia. And like I said, this one here is the Little Dipper or Ursa Minor. And so really easy to, for you to make. You can decorate your tube however you would like. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we use our flashlight. Okay, so I have gone and I've dimmed the lights in here, and I'm gonna show you how to use your Constellation Scope uh, with your uh, flashlight. So you can already see, uh, if I hold it up, you can already see the holes through um, my scope, but I'm gonna use the flashlight, and I can then project it onto a wall. And let's see, there we go. And now you can see this is Cassiopeia. And Cassiopeia was actually named after Greek mythology and a very vain um, queen who boasted about her unrivaled beauty. So that's the constellation Cassiopeia, which is from Greek mythology. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to show you the Little Dipper or Ursa Minor, which we said is an asterism, not really a constellation, but a series of stars that make up uh, a part of a larger constellation. And the larger constellation, if you remember, is the little bear. So there you go. You can see my constellation of Ursa Minor. Thank you for joining me today in creating your very own constellation scope. I hope you had a lot of fun. And remember that you can always create your own constellation. Since a lot of these constellations come from Greek and Roman mythology, you can create your own story and your own constellation to go with it. So if you enjoyed this, check out more of our YouTube videos for more science and STEM activities. Thank you all for joining me. Bye.